Welcome, I'm your host, Logan23. You're joining me for Vampire Girl Chapter 17. Lemo pulls out of the hospital and onto the cold, cloudy streets of Portland. You and Finn watch out the windows. Where to, Ari? Now that we're visiting your mother, uh, is there anywhere else you'd like to go? I wanna... Hang out with you, Ez. I want you to meet my best friend, Ez. It's late, but she's... I'm pretty sure she's working her shift at the Roxy. I would love to meet her. Very well. The Roxy it is. That's one sleek looking limo. The limo takes a turn and zooms through the street. You and Finn walk into the Roxy. It's as loud and busy as it ever was. You breathe in the familiar smell of stale beer and fried bar food. Glasses at the bar clink together and silverware hits plates as the gentle hum of conversation fills the air. Ari! Oh my god, I can't believe you're here! Esmeralda runs full sprint at you and hugs you. Her body nearly topples you over. Where have you been, hun? I've been calling, texting, emailing nonstop. It's like you fell off the face of the damn earth. What should I say? I lost my phone. I'm sorry, Ez. I lost my phone as soon as I left here, and I haven't been able to set one up. You haven't gotten a phone this whole time? Yeah, not that it matters. I live in a total dead zone. Ez looks at Fan, her eyes starting to staring at his feet and making a long swing up to his head. She smiles at you in approval, then looks back at him. Do you work with Ari? Ah, uh, in a manner of speaking, yeah. Ez, do you remember the guy who was here offering me the job? Asher? How could I forget? That man was so hot, you could bake a tray of cookies on his ass. Well, he and Finn are brothers. Ez does a double take. She rubs her eyes dramatically, and you groan. You know... If I wasn't spoken for, I'd be asking if there are more where you boys came from. Oh, there are. Trust me. <laughs> Too many, in fact. But before I start ranting, how have you been, Ez? I've been great. I've been living at your house. It's been a godsend. Thank you again. But most excitedly of all, I'm finally getting my gender reassignment surgery next month. Ez, are you serious? I'm so happy for you. That's amazing. I wonder if they'll let us see, like, the, um... <clears throat> Someone explained this to me, and I failed to remember all of it. I don't know if it's, a, like, a complete revampment. I think it's hormone therapy, as I believe. Yeah, 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 now I'm recalling it. So, I'm... Because she has, from what it looks like, boobs. <laughs> so, is... Is she trying to become a man? Or is she a man trying to become a woman? I forget that part. Now, that part I forget. Like, I'm like, if it's becoming a man, I would love to see, like, you know, what they, you know, redo with her. You know, maybe it'll be a couple years down the line and it'll be like, you're meeting up with Ez. And that'd be super cool to, to see. But uh, something tells me she's already been through most of it. And it's just, like, female hormone therapy. I could be wrong, but... I, I, I would have liked to see a before and after. That would have been kind of cool, actually. You better believe it is. Now, tell me about your life since you've left Portland. What should I say? Mm, tell her you've been doing a lot of traveling. Well, it's going really well. I've been seeing the worlds. Or, er, world. Ash, Fen, and I have been digging deep into some serious cases. Really compelling stuff. Being a paralegal is everything I'd hoped it would be. Right. She senses you lying, girl. She sighs and leans against the bar counter. I keep up the smiles and banter because I love you. You know that, right? You really think it feels natural to be so casual about all the sorry? What does that mean? Ask her to explain. I don't understand what you mean. What are you saying? I've known you for a long time, Ari. I know your favorite ice cream flavor. I can make a playlist of all your favorite songs by heart. I know the first boy you kissed, and I know how bad it went. But most of all, I know when you're lying to me. So cut the pull. What's really going on? Oh, you really want to know? Okay. Well, I've been transported down to hell, where I'm supposed to be a queen. 
Um, no, go ahead, tell her the whole truth. I should have known better than to think I could fool Ez so easily. Ez, I don't know what you're talking about. Look at the muscles on this guy. Sorry, sir, but if you're a lawyer, then I'm the freaking president. Ah, uh, perhaps I got them from lifting law books. I hear the tomes are rather substantial. They don't call them tomes here. You see? There's something fishy here. What's the real reason you call me, Ari? Quick, I'll tell her the truth. Tell her you've been out of the country. That you've moon moved to a commune. <laughs> Just tell her the goddamn truth. I'm a truthful person. Well, I've been off Earth, living in the underworld. I was locked in a deal with the devil, and now I owe my soul to the prince of hell. Ben's eyes dart at you, his jaw open. Artie, what are you doing? Will you stop messing around? I'm trying to be serious here. See? See, Finn? She won't believe me if I'm doing shit anyway. I'm trying to be honest. I am. That's another lie. I can tell just by looking at your eyes. As looks down, sighing, she shakes her head. We literally just told you the truth, so clearly you don't know the difference between a lie and the truth. You've changed. It's like you're a stranger, stepping in and pretending to be Ari. I get that you've left us all behind and done your big hot shot thing, but what I don't understand is why you need to lie about it to your best friend. Ez, I... I save it. If all that comes out of your mouth are lies, you can keep it shut. I'm going to the restroom to regain my composure. Excuse me. As turns and begins to walk away, but calls back over her shoulder in a shaky, hurt voice. If y'all are still here when I get back, it better be because you got answers to tell. If not, you best leave now. I can't told you the goddamn truth, woman. I literally just... You know what? No. No, I'm done. I can't believe this is happening. I'll... Ask Finn's permission to be honest. We literally were just honest. Try not to cry. I'm not doing this. I'm not doing it. We already were goddamn honest. She can go herself then. Never mind. I don't want to see what happens after the hormone therapy. Screw you. <laughs> you hold your face in your hands. Her. You feel hot tears well up in your eyes. What are we going to do? I want to tell the truth, but I can't. Perhaps you can just console her as a friend's do. We can get her a gift or take her to an event. You look towards the bathroom, wondering what could make this up to Ez without revealing your secret. Is it me or did they fuck this up? Oh, I tried really hard not to say it, but I'm mad. We literally told her the truth. <sighs> Whatever. You stare for a while, but then notice the time. Hey, fan, this might sound weird to you, but Ez has been in the bathroom too long. I'm worried something's wrong. That sounds like a private, uh, matter. No, you don't understand. In my world, when girls like Ez are gone too long, when any girl is gone too long in a bar like this, look, we just need to make sure she's okay. If she's pissed, then we can just leave, like she wants us to. You and Finn make your way through the crowd of patrons towards the bathroom. And she's probably been kidnapped by whoever wants you dead. Watch. You step into the grimy bathroom of the Roxy. The air reeks of stale cigarettes and booze. The walls have discolored permanent stains. That's uh, the nightly scrub down this place. Gets would never get out. You find Ez backed into a corner of the bathroom by a burly, sloppily drunk man. Oh. He stumbles as he towers over Ez, slurring his lower, loud words in her face. You've seen this type before. A typical drunk a-hole, rowdy, rude, and hateful to the core. You insisted that Roxy hire a bouncer to keep these guys out, but the manager management never did. Hey, Trini! Let's see your pecker! Leave me alone, please! How'd they give the right parts to this bathroom, she-man? Oh! God, it's one of you. Jesus Christ. He shoves Ez against the wall. She cowers back in fear. Get away from me! He's harassing Ez. I need to... Yell at him to scare him off, grab him, and put up a fight. Well, we do have Finn, I'm assuming, so... And you know what, regardless? Kick him between the legs! Grab him and start up a fight. You run up and grab his arm. Get away from her. You pull him away, but he throws his arm loose and shoves you back. Stay back out of this, you... Is there a problem here? You turn and see Finn at the door. His eyes are fiery and his presence is commanding. What do you think, pretty boy? Uh... 
points to Ez with his nasty fat finger. The nail, dirty and chewed to a stub. This freak's trying to take a piss in here. It's like some kind of pervert. He's trying to get a look at the girls. What the f are you doing in here then? I see a woman trying to use a bathroom and a drunken fool harassing her. Nothing more. Are you fucking blind? This is a man, a sick loser about to get his ass stumped for pulling this shit. Ben looks at Az and sees the tear in her face, snaps his attention back to the thug, and the Prince of War sin bubbles to the surface. He walks up to the drunk man. Your pathetic views are broken, little man. Leave now, or you will find your body in a similar situation. Oh yeah? Think so, buddy? It's just trying to your little boy toy. <sighs> Apparently I'm a prince of hell too because anger is swelling in my ass and I just want to beat the shit out of this guy. A fan grabs the man's shirt and pulls him to face. The man coughs as his own collar is pulled tight around his throat. You have the stench of a man with no honor. Fan turns to you holding the bowl him like a scruffed up puppy as the man squirms and sweats. What shall I do with this past, Ari? Mmm. God damn it. <laughs> oh, God. Can we all gang up on him and beat the living shit out of him until he can never walk again? What? That's what some of these pieces of shit need. Let him go. Just let him go. He's not worth anyone's time. Finn shoves the man back, slamming him into the tile wall behind him. The strength of a shove nearly breaks the man's back as he looks at Finn in horror. What are you? Your worst goddamn nightmare. He quickly runs out of the bathroom and back to the hole he crawled out of. Finn turns to Az, her jaw dropped from what she just saw. Are you okay, Esmeralda? She nods, wiping tears from her eyes. She seems stunned. Ari and I will wait outside. You and Finn quickly leave the bathroom. You're welcome, by the way. We'll be here for the rest of the evening. <laughs> you step back out into the restaurant area of Roxy. I can't believe you defended an ass like that. It was so brave of you. No woman should have to deal with monsters like that man. I'm only happy I was here to help. I hope I haven't offended your friend by not allowing her to fight her own battle. I'm afraid my sin got the better of me. The rage can be intoxicating. I think Ez will be grateful she was in a bad situation. Suspicious, she showed off too much. Disappointed, she knows how to handle the guys like that. I think she's going to be grateful. Anybody, let's put it this way, even a guy. You know, let's say you're a guy, you're some thin little guy, or let's just say you're, you know, whatever. You know, you got some big burly man that's trying to beat the shit out of you or harass you. I think anyone would just be like, you know, thank you. So, Ez will be so thankful for what you did. I know I am. I can't believe how many people in your world have attitudes like that man. I agree. To be so hateful like that, that is a demeanor meant for monsters, not humans. I can only hope your friend is able to rise above it. She deserves a good and safe life. She deserves her best friend to stay positive. She's really strong. As leaves the bathroom and walks up to you both, as she approaches Finn, she holds out her hand. Thank you, Finn. What you did back there was something else. Finn shakes her hand with both of his. You're struck by how soft and kind he's being. Is that her influence on him or yours? You're welcome. I hope you aren't subjected to such treatment again. Ari, our time is drawing to a close. I will go wait in the car. It was a pleasure to meet you, Ez. You as well. Take good care of my girl, okay? Of course. Finn and Ez smile at each other, a friendship forming. Finn gives a final nod and makes his way out the front doors of the bar. Look, Ari, I don't know what's going on in your life right now. I already told you! <laughs> I'm getting mad. We already told her the truth. That's what's pissing me off. But I don't need to. I get it. Whatever journey you're on right now, it's yours. I don't know where you've been, what you're doing, or who he really is. But that man is in love with you. And I know he'll keep you safe. She thinks Finn is in love with me? You really think so? 
I know so. Don't you? I don't know. He's just doing his job. I don't think he's in love with me. I think he cares for me, but I'm not sure if Finn knows how to love. Well, he's learning how to tr how to with you. Trust me on that, sugar. So I gotta ask, are you falling in love with him? With Finn? Ugh, no way. That's a lot. No way. I feel a lot of ways about Finn, but I don't think it's love. He's so gruff and serious all the time. I don't know if that's my type yet. Although he is loyal. Pretty kind once you see past his hard shell. Right. All of those are traits of a man to fall in love with. Just saying. Well, he's certainly in love with you. If you're not feeling the same things, you'll have to break the news to him eventually. But give it a while. Maybe you just need more time together. Anyone lucky enough to have your love should be willing to wait. I'm so proud of you. Whatever you're doing out there in the world, it's clearly going well for you. I don't know what to say. Hmm. I mean, I'd have to say things are going great, aside from the fact that someone's trying to kill her. Because <laughs> I just make light of that, don't I? There's someone's trying to kill her, you know, just usual shit different day. But she's got, you know, all these princes of hell are swooning over her. She's got servants. She's got a castle. She's got... She's going to be queen. I mean, she'll be a bigger queen than any queen on Earth, so... Uh... Things are going great. I'm going to miss you. Every day is. But you know I've got to leave again, right? I know. You've got to get back out there and save the world or whatever it is you're up to. But I'll be here when you're back, okay? Don't go forgetting me. I would never forget you, as I can imagine my life without you. Take care of yourself. I'll see you in a month, okay? You hug, as one last time, and like always, she squeezes way too hard and only gets lets go when you grunt. As turns and walks back behind the bar, drawing on an apron as she looks over her seat. As she walks out to some tables and disappears behind a corner, you feel like you're really leaving your old life behind. You look back to the restaurant one last time. Your memories of the place feel lasting and nostalgic. You swing open the restaurant door, the cold air hitting your face, and walk out. You crawl into the limo to join Finn. So basically, she's become a woman. I, I figured it out. Like, she was a man, she'd become a woman. That's cool. I mean, there's... So, did that visit go how you were expecting? I have to say, I wasn't anticipating all that excitement. I like your friend, Ari. This has a fight in her. She called you out on your lies without hesitation. We didn't lie, mother... I'm so tired of being told we lied. I'm so tired of it. And she deals with rotten bastards like that drunken man on a daily basis. I bet she'd make a hell of a fighter back in the island of Inferna. I hadn't thought of that. Ooh. No! I mean, is she really happy? She deals with pieces of crap like that all the time. Ask if she can relocate to the Isle. Do you think Az could ever come with us to the Isle of Inferno? You're always saying you could use more soldiers, after all. That would be wonderful, but there are unfortunately a handful of rules stopping that. I know you want to be with your friend, but I'm afraid you'll have to con be content with monthly visits. I know. That's okay. So where to now? Let's go home, then. Ah, I can do that. It's a few blocks down the road, yes? The house with the... No. Not the house I gave to Az. I want to go home. Our home. Stonehill. Fen smiles. He puts his arm over your shoulders and you let your face fall to his chest, exhausted by the events of today. Together, the two of you begin the journey home. Do. So, yeah. Um, that kind of confirmed it for me. Like, you know, hey, she was, you know, as was a man once. Um, that's, that's cool. I was confused. Because, I, I mean, like I said, it's been a while. I'm one, I just got a coffee. So, <laughs> plus I've been sick. So, I was like, is she becoming a man? Or is she, he becoming she? That's what I was confused on. But I guess the game really didn't answer that. So, that's nice. In a way, it kind of goes... You know, hey, what's going on? You know, is this gonna, is this ever gonna tell us? You know, is there gonna be a future thing? Are we gonna get to see her before, or after, during, whatever? Um, 
So that was nice. The game got you know to show us and confirm it. I hate, I hate that. I hate that. This world. <sighs> we've come a long way. Okay, don't get me wrong. We've come a long way as humanity, and I, I, I'm an American. Okay, I'm in America. Okay, so whatever. Pretty much the hatred and everything from the past. I mean, we used to lynch black folk. Let's be honest. Some states, there's some racist pieces of crap that deserve a special place in hell, and when they die, they do have one, that still do every once in a blue moon, it'll happen. But, like, we're moving, <clears throat> and though it seems slow, we've made significant progress, and, you know, I mean, what, I'd say 60 years, to be honest, 60, 40 to 60 um, so, I, I, I feel like we're gonna get rid of the old man, the old white man, that feels like it's clinging on right now, for instance, what's in the White House, and what's been around it, and, you know, the people with the tiki torches, and coming out, and doing all that, and I feel like it's dying, and yeah, it's still gonna be a while, I'd say a good hundred years before it's down to a dwindling ember in the fire of hatred and racism and all that. I feel like eventually it'll come to the point where if our generations of children are smart about it and you are not teaching them hate, you're teaching them open-mindedness. And this is what I'm all about. People don't get that. People call me out for, you know, oh my god, you gave, you know, James a, a southern kind of voice. That's how my voice is sometimes. Um, it's called voice acting. We're having fun with it. It's, it's you just interpreting a character, depending on how you want to do it. People make such a big deal, like Scarlett Johansson and, and doing Ghost in the Shell. She's a fucking android, you idiots, in an anime. Stop making such a big deal about shit. Um, <clears throat> she's not even a person. She's an android. So, like, everybody makes such a big deal. They just need to sit back and be more open-minded. And I feel like... Like I've been saying for a long time, I was either born 40 or 50 years too goddamn soon or too late. Like I would have fit just right in when they were trying to, you know, make women be able to vote and, 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 and you know, Af African Americans being able to have more rights and, and, and fighting for that shit. I feel like my fight, because right now we're in the what? Oh my god, Starbucks cups and Reese Reese pieces not looking like a, a goddamn Christmas tree and all this shit. I, I feel like I'm in a derp goddamn zone, and I feel like we're progressing to where I might come in handy, but at the same time, I feel like I'm still in a place of, of, of non-acceptance and conformity, and I'm still ahead of the curve, or behind the curve. Like, I want change, and there's nothing really going on, so I'm just biding my time, um, and trying to open you guys' mind. I ho I, you know, people tell me, I enjoy your outlook, I enjoy your views, I enjoy your personality, I enjoy you making me laugh, so I hope that at least I'm, I'm, I'm seeing, I'm letting people see that I'm open to interpretation and open to new things. Um, kind of like pansexual in the video we just recently discussed and things like that. I know, I'm sorry I'm ranting. But sometimes I get in a mood where I just want to be a, an intellectual for a minute. You know, with a, a human being. Um, <laughs> so, like, I'm like, I don't... I came from a time where there was straight and gay. And then I came into you know, bi being a thing, and straight, and then gay legalization, and now all of a sudden we're out of non-binary and pansexual, and these are terms and everything that most people, if you were honestly to go around and ask people what non-binary means and pansexual means, most people aren't going to know unless they know someone who's like that. And it's it's so small, when you think about it, it's so small, um, that most people don't know those terms. There's a lot of Google searches that are becoming more and more popular for what that means. And so... You know, people are, are, are becoming more open-minded. It's nice that they're learning things. It's nice that they're delving into things. It's nice that they're becoming more open-minded. But there's still a large amount of people we need to work on, to be honest, at the end of the day, that don't understand these things. They don't want to accept these things, you know? End rant. <laughs> like I said, I just had to get it off my chest. Just, I, I, I hope one day before I die... Like, there's more acceptance in the world. And I feel like eventually we're going to reach that pinnacle, but, yeah. Uh, with that being said, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Head to the description below. Links to social media or Discord if you like to support me and my content. Um, 
without further ado, thank you all for watching. Stay tuned for chapters 18 to 20, and then we're going to be doing some streaming later this evening. Peace out.